<clears throat> oh my god, I'm barely awake. Heading out. We do walk really, really early. It's like it's not even 6 a.m. And figured I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go for a walk, and then I have to go run to the store because we have no cream for our coffee. I don't have any eggs or anything, so I figured I go pick up that stuff, and then we'll start the day early. <laughs> I can't. I just figured I need to start getting up earlier than 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. I need to get my groove on. And I also figured I haven't gone for a walk this early. Now, I don't have my gimbal with me, but that's because, did you see this? It's going to rain. And the gimbal does not like the rain. It gets very cranky in the rain. So, let's see what we can do before the rain pops in. <laughs> I don't like the rain. So we're gonna take a quick walk just around the block and stuff like that. It's not bad out. It's actually mild. It's not too bad. I mean, I guess I could have got the gimbal, but whatever, it's whatever. Going for the walk around the block. And then I'll take with you, take you guys with me into the store in the morning. We just want to get a few steps in this morning, just in case the rain is super bad. I did bring an umbrella. I'm gonna go behind this person. God, I haven't been up this early to do a walk in a few months. Now, when I first started walking every day, I was getting up like this every single day and just going for it. And the reason why, oh, hey, big, big truck, big truck. Okay, and the reason why I did it is because I was trying to set that um, habit where you, you know, it takes, like they always say, it takes four weeks for something to become a habit. Well, that's what I was trying to do, is make it a habit. And I knew that if I waited too long, it was, you know, in the day, it was harder for me to get out and do it. So, I would get up first thing, put my hair back, and run out the door. So today, we're revisiting that. And maybe I'll start doing it like this, you know, not every day, but a number of times of the week because it is a totally kind of different vibe in the morning. You know, super quiet. Go home afterwards, get your coffee, go in. And then by the time you've had breakfast, answered emails, you know, you've already done taking your shower, everything else. And you look up, it's like nine o'clock and you've already done so much. So I hope everybody's gonna have a good day. It's Thursday. We're almost at the end of another week.
depending on the weather, we'll see if I go live later. You know, I really don't understand these. They have these room to move open streets things, but you got the gates there, but cars can still go by. And and who the heck is who the heck is watching it? Man, they got a lot of lights here. Dang. That's a bougie apartment building, for sure. They must have required them to put all these lights up here. It's very convenient that I can just roll out of bed and I'm out able to take a walk on nicely paved streets and then on the way back stop at the store at the market. It's also nice not having to listen to all of the construction that happens. <sighs> Last night was laundry night means today I have to fold it all because I was too tired last night when we got back. And I was having a conversation with my niece, Lauren, and she cracked me up. The other night she said she took a walk down to Riverside. Oh, I felt a raindrop down to Riverside um, by the river the park and she lives it's funny she literally lives almost like the same distance from Riverside Park that we do just about but anyway she took a walk and she's like oh my god I saw the biggest possum and I said yes we do have wildlife you know it's not just squirrels and pigeons Although I will say what's funny is the tourists lose it over a squirrel. I don't understand that. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't have squirrels where you're from? Oh no, I felt another raindrop. Look, it, it's so early. Everybody's got their lights on still. How funny is that? But she saw the biggest possum and it scared her. And while she was walking, because it was in the evening, she said she was FaceTiming with her friend and that she screamed like a little girl and started running. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I was like, well, goodness. What if it was a raccoon? Because we have those too. We also, once in a while, will get a coyote, which is pretty bizarre, but it happens, it does. Everybody's out walking their dogs, okay? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn here, because like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little walk just to get my blood pumping, wake up my body, We don't need to get crazy now, do we? <laughs> That's what I said. We don't need to be crazy. Oh, look at how pretty this garden is. This is just the tiny little 
greenway that's up here by me on the Upper West Side. Just a little one. See? Isn't that pretty? I think that is so pretty. Oh, it's in the shape of a heart. That's how they planted the pansies, guys. Look at that. Everybody take a screenshot. Beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. The gardens here, amazing. Thank you, NYC. Thank you for being you. Now we'll be walking down Broadway. Let me just peek around the corner. Okay, look, this is how empty the street is this early. Look at that's empty. This is New York City. That's empty. Everybody's still sleeping. smoke is coming back. They're going to come back this summer, it says. Very cool. That's our local jazz club. I don't know. I mean, it's local to me because I live here, but it's very popular. And I'm sure some people travel up here just to see a number of groups. Oh, wait, it's Thursday. If I remember, if I think right, I think my friend Carlton should be playing tonight. Oh, maybe we have to get some Greek food. Greek food and a little drinky. Come on. Look at, they've washed their... It's not rain. They just wash their sidewalk. They do it all the time. Now, as you can tell, Broadway is a little busier because it is Broadway. Oh my God, they still have those things? That's really funny that they still have those. I don't think I'd want to sit in those anymore, especially in the summer. I mean, it's back to Memorial Day in the summer. That's gonna be a little, little warm. In the winter, I can, I can get behind it because you want to keep the heat in. But in the summer, oh, girl, that's gonna be hot. Waiting for this car. It's It's so early, but the lights for the subway are on still. the open streets, same street we passed earlier, but one street of a fire. He's 
listening to music. I can dig that. So early, Dwayne Reed's not even open. But I do know that our grocery store is open. It's open 24 hours. Having those kind of grocery stores and things like that are like the life of New York. Nobody can sit here and, like, you know, not be able to go out and get their necessities. We all need to be able to do that. Bagel shop is already, I don't think it's open quite yet, but, or maybe it is. I see people in there. Oh my God. That's so early. It might be open. Broadway Bagel actually has some of the best bagels. And here's the thing. I was talking about this with some other people. How... Um, some friends that were, you know, used to live in New York and they said, the one thing you cannot barely duplicate anywhere else is a New York bagel. And it's so true because one, the bagels here are huge, super crunchy on the outside, absolutely wonderfully tender on the inside. But the other thing is when you get a bagel here, and you ask for a schmear, which is cream cheese, some kind of schmear, cream cheese, flavored cream cheese, you know, plain cream cheese, whatever. It's not an actual smear of it. It is literally at least an inch and a half thick, if not two, of cream cheese. Like there's enough that you could take that and make another bagel with. Like they give you enough cream cheese and schmear that you're satisfied. You're not left wanting for more. I have had bagels all over the place, every state we've ever lived in. And New York is the only one that have I, I've encountered that actually does it proper. What's the best? That's funny. What's the best bagel type on the pole here? That's what it says. What's the best bagel type? Scan that to do the thing. We have these, by the way, are all of our Wi Fi stations here in New York. It's the free Wi Fi link NYC. If you need to, Instead of using a payphone, which you can not find hardly at all, those are like dinosaurs, um, you use one of these stations. And you can make a call, power up your stuff. No charge. Look at the pretty flowers in the morning, people. We're almost to the grocery store. Has not rained on me yet. But you know why it hasn't? Because I brought an umbrella. And I didn't bring my gimbal. That's why it didn't rain. Swear to God. That's why it didn't rain. I can't. Mother Nature, she's a trickster. 
and there it is in the distance. We're like 20 minutes into the walk. And I took the long way, like I went all the way north to come all the way south to get to West Side Market. Okay, let me get my mask on. Isn't there fruit, fruit display? Just so cool. I love it. it. Makes you want to eat all the fruit. Bread deliveries, guys. We are so early in the store that the bread delivery is here. What is happening to me? All right, I need eggs. <sighs> hmm. gonna get some big eggs. Because I want them. And the other thing just remember the store is a tight store. Not a ton of room. And we need cream. We got it. Eggs and cream. Eggs are like $2.50 a dozen. Two for five. It's not awful. I mean, it's a little higher than what I normally pay at an outside grocery store. But when you need it, you need it. And I don't feel like having to remember again. Okay. Now, this is where it gets crazy. I have to walk the three blocks home before the rain hits with my bag of groceries. And the bag is paper, so yeah. We don't want it to rain on us before we get home. So you guys, have a good day. I'll see you later and um, keep walking. Enjoy whatever you got going on there in life. And thanks. Morning.